All right, first of all, let's say good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. It is 6.30 on your Wednesday morning. I'm Ruben Diaz. And I'm Joe Ellison. Are you going to say it? Hump day. You want to. It is. It's hump day halfway <laughs> through the work week, after, halfway through the school week. We got past elections. Uh-huh. Now let's get it moving, right? All right, yeah. Let's talk about those <laughs> official results. History in Arkansas with the first ever woman governor in the state. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is your projected next governor of Arkansas. Now, she smoked last night at her watch party in Little Rock. Let's take a look. I know it will be the honor of a lifetime to serve as Arkansas's 47th governor and the first female governor the state of Arkansas. Now, Sanders goes on to say it's the only, to her knowledge, father-daughter serving as governor in the country. You'll remember her father, Mike Huckabee, held this position from 1996 to 2007. Let's take a look at the number of votes for the candidates in this race for governor. You see them here. Sarah Huckabee Sanders pulling in 63% of the votes. Yeah, you talk about Democrat Chris Jones. He managed 35 percent, about 316,000 votes in total. Libertarian Der Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. did get 2 percent. He said he was shooting for that 4 to 5 percent mark. He ended up with about 16,500 votes in total. All right, now, so Sanders takes over as governor over uh, for Asa Hutchinson when he exits the office in January. Mm -hmm. Five News reporter uh, is in Little Rock where Sanders is celebrating that historic win. Catherine Gilker. I'm here at the State House Convention Center in Little Rock where Sarah Huckabee Sanders gave her victory speech after being elected the 47th governor of the state of Arkansas and the first woman to ever be governor in our state. Sarah Huckabee Sanders told her supporters it will be an honor of a lifetime to serve as Arkansas's 47th governor and the first female governor Arkansas has had. She told her supporters that no matter who became the next governor, Arkansas was going to make history. This will also be the first father-daughter governor in the country. Her father, Mike Huckabee, was Arkansas's 44th governor, serving from 1996 to 2007. Sanders says at the end of the day, this campaign was never about her. It was about everyone across the state, even the people who did not vote for her. She says she looks forward to being Arkansas's very best governor for the next eight years. I will never, ever forget who and what we are fighting for, because I have three little reminders, Scarlett, Huck, and George who are going to hold me accountable and remind me that every single decision I make as governor will have a direct impact on their life and the life of every kid in Arkansas. That is not at all something I take lightly, but it is something I know I'm ready to take on. Sanders says she knows that Arkansas can be first and that she's committed to being the leader that can take our state there. In Little Rock, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Now, as Sanders celebrates that big win this morning, her Democratic opponent, Chris Jones, saying he will not concede until every vote is counted. Yeah, in fact, 5 News reporter Jose Carranza was following his watch party closely, he joins us in the, in the newsroom with the response to those results. As Republican candidate Sarah Huckabee Sanders and her supporters celebrated their early victory, many at the Democratic watch party continued to wait as votes were being tallied. As early data came in, showing Huckabee Sanders as the winner of the race, Jones continued to emphasize counting every vote. When first entering the Democratic watch party, Jones thanked everyone who believed in him. He received a standing ovation and embraces while entering the watch party. And when he finally took the podium after 10 last night, he re-emphasized counting every vote and that this is just the beginning. We walked every last street in this state, and we're going to count every last vote in this race. Why? Because Arkansas deserves it. And Arkansas is worth it. Let me close with a very clear statement. I am Chris Jones. And I ain't going nowhere. Jones addressed everyone at the watch party last night, saying that after everyone left the room, there'd be more work to come and that he'd continue to fight for every Arkansan. Jose Carranza, 5 News. All right, let's take a look at the Arkansas Lieutenant Governor race. You see it here, Republican and current Attorney General of Arkansas, Leslie Rutledge, holding 64% of the vote on this one. Democratic candidate Kelly Kraut from Northwest Arkansas at 32%, and the Libertarian candidate Frank Gilbert standing at 4%. 
All right, let's take a look at Oklahoma, at the governor's race there in Oklahoma. 100% of the precincts reporting right now, so that's, this race is over. Kevin Stitt will serve another term as the governor in the state of Oklahoma. He got 55% of the vote. Joy Hoffmeister, the Democratic challenger, did get 42% of the vote when she was challenging for that position.